The new year brings with it a lot of resolutions, and for many people, that means it is time to hit the gym. But just how long will their power last? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore on the story tonight. A brand new year means the start of a healthy commitment for many. Western New Yorkers are heading to gyms to keep that commitment. Gym memberships usually peak in January, then take a dip in February after people ditch their healthy New Year resolutions. Set a goal now for a couple months down the line. So not just thinking about a couple weeks or a couple days after the New Year, but maybe set a goal for over the summertime when you have six months to really get ahead of yourself and make sure that you're staying on top of your game. Stephanie Spila, a trainer at Jada Blitz in Amherst, says the key to staying committed is having a plan. Spila encourages newcomers to start off slow and build each day. Also find a gym that has equipment and programs that pique your interest. Monthly we're offering new classes. We do special family nights where you can bring your kids to train with you. So like your kids are saying, come on mom and dad, I want to go with you to the gym. And then and that's keeping you accountable. Consider working out with a friend, family member, or even a trainer to keep you accountable. As a trainer, I like to make sure I'm constantly communicating with my clients and I'm messaging them, hey, how have you been? Haven't seen you in a couple days. And before you commit to a gym and sign a contract, make sure you fully understand it and read the fine print because it could cost you if you decide to cancel your membership. And remember, the will to win comes from within. In Amherst, Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News.